everyone, I'm Sam Squires. Welcome to a new episode of Surfing Australia TV presented by Woolworths, feeding fresh talent. We have a massive show ahead, so here's a little taste of what's to come. We have club surfing's biggest battle, some frothing groms. We check out some all-time classic breaks and have some unforgettable footage from around the globe, plus plenty more. First up, and the biggest event in grassroots surfing in the country is the Nudie Australian Board Riders Battle, and we're off to Kiama in New South Wales for round seven of the National Series. So much fun. Everyone loves competing. No one wants to come to these things and lose. To kind of be competing with guys on the CT and stuff like that, be beating them or getting close to beating them, it's, I don't know, it's all the time. These team events have really provided a crucial step on the Surfing Australia pathway for young surfers to be able to perform in a team environment to really pitch themselves against some of the Australia's best. It's actually quite an honour to represent my club I've been with since, since I've been so small. And you know, it's just really good to just represent them and try to surf my best for them. It's pretty much the first event I competed in with the Board Riders events. It's where I started and it's where I've kind of grown as a person and versing all the, all the, the good surfers in the Board Riders really helps improve and, and gives you a lot of confidence and drive. It's been so influential towards me, towards my career. Working this inside connection. I'm Kira and I'm from Coldwell Beach Board Riders. I like it because it's my hometown and they're all good surfers. Just good team effort, you know, everyone put their beat in, we played the time right and just did what we had to do and came away with the result. And we're stoked, so <laughs> thanks for yeah. having me. We can find out more about this fantastic series at surfingaustralia.com. As we head to the break, check out these awesome footage from the team at MySurf TV.
Welcome back to Surfing Australia TV. Well, next up, thanks to Subway, we go one-on-one -on -one with Joel Parkinson as he shares with us his all-time classic surf break, Cloud Break in Fiji. I think Cloud Break um, is the best wave in the world. You know, I think uh, from two foot to, to 20 foot, it's regarded as the best left, I think. You know, you'd probably find eight of the 10 best surfers in the world would probably say, you know, that that's the same, you know, the same thing across the board is cloud break is the best wave in the world, I think. For me personally, I think cloud break has, you get the, it's one of those waves where you feel like you shouldn't make it, you know, it feels like it's gonna be 100 yards that way and you get in the barrel and it, you just feel like, you, oh, okay, I've just made it to this bit and to this bit and then all of a sudden, you know, you have that feeling of you're never gonna make it and then there's a light at the end of the tunnel and you come out and it truly is, I think, the, the best wave in the world. As a kid, uh, getting to know it and, and going back uh, year after year, you know, I guess uh, you get familiar with that wave and that, that, that's the place, you know, to me, when you, when you paddle on, it's on that first ledge and you paddle over a wave and you can just see this endless wall, it looks like it's gonna close out, but the more you get to know that wave, you know, you, you don't paddle out to it, you just sit in the spot and just let it run and, you know, it, hopefully that wave just doesn't sing around you. A couple of years ago, Mick and I went and we had an amazing morning um, where we uh, we surfed. There was Kelly and Dane and a few of us out and it was pumping. And then that afternoon we went back out and we took the ski. The wind came up and was a bit wobbly and still pretty big. So we thought we'd just get the ski and we did some step offs. And it was the only time I'd ever stepped off out there. And it was, you know, here eight foot, as it was just, you know, the two of us out at, you know, eight foot, 10 foot cloud break and as good as it gets. A bit wobbly, but just amazing with the jet ski. Well, we still have plenty more coming up on the show, but as we head to the break, let's see what happens when the Wahoo Surfer Groms Comp takes over the Sunshine Coast. Howdy folks, welcome along. It is event number seven on the nine event series known as the Wahoo Surfer Grom Series, proudly presented by Woolworths, the fresh food people. We have a huge weekend up here on the Sunshine Coast for this stop down and uh, action packed weekend. Of course, we've got the Wahoo Surf Games where we're giving away lots of free stuff thanks to our big hearted sponsor, Woolworths, the fresh food people, of course, dishing out the free fruit for the kids and keeping Australians nice and healthy. And of course, the Flight Centre, one of our supporting sponsors have got the mechanical surfboard so check out the action now. It's really tough competition. Like everyone, all, everyone all here, all stuff's amazing. All the games are all really fun. Everyone's all coming down, supporting each other. It's just really good vibe down here. Yeah. The ability to be good sports people, you know, like popping it on the chin if you have a bad surf and lose your heat and coming back and trying harder next time. The most fun I've had today is probably hanging out with my friends, watching all the little kids rip. to have you with us. Well, Surfing Australia is proud to introduce the Nudie Creators of Good series. We'll be telling the stories of those doing amazing things in the surfing community. And you're about to meet Winter Vincent. He's the 11 year old Grom who was so inspired by the World Water Day movement that he created his own fundraiser, Surf to School Day. I am Winter Vincent. I'm from Manly Beach, Australia, and I'm 11 years old. I started surfing when I was on my fifth birthday when my dad started pushing me in. I 
started surf to school because when I heard about World Water Day, I think it's a big impact on people's lives. I knew that I could make a difference. I do lots of fundraisers at my school for Kenya Day, Barefoot Bangladesh, and I thought maybe I could go and do my own fundraiser. So I started Surf to School Day, where everyone wears boardies and goes to school um, and brings a gold coin donation. The other schools really like it. I think they benefit from it. So far I've had 25 schools join Surf to School Day. I've actually raised $32,000 in US, thanks to all the schools. Well, my ultimate dream for Surf to School is probably to get as many kids as possible on board with this and to help as many people as I can around the world. Next year, I'm going to try to expand it. So not only in the mentor wise, I'm going to probably try to go to different countries, which I think will make a massive impact and hopefully it will go global. Kids can get involved by going onto my Waves for Water website where they can learn and talk to their principal and see if they want to do something. To see more nudie creators of good series, head to surfingaustralia.com. Well, earlier in the show, Joel Parkinson shared with us his all-time classic surf break now let's join Laura Enova as she shares with us hers. For me, it's just about the challenge and I love anything that's constantly going to challenge myself and push me. Yeah, so surfing waves of consequence is that little, little thing that, that I really love to try and do. Yeah, Micronesia is pretty off the grid, but um, you know, you fly into Guam and then there's a bunch of little islands that are all um, connected in Micronesia love to go back and, and have a look around some of the other islands because yeah, island life is pretty amazing. It's definitely for me, um, my favourite part of our job is just going to tropical places and islands and um, getting off the grid and surfing amazing waves. That's like, that's the dream side of our job for sure. Um, a wave at Peepas, it's definitely different to Chopes. It's more of like a roll in and um, same sort of thing there. You've got to paddle your heart out pretty much to get into it. and um, yeah, one of the biggest things I learned is once you commit to those waves, you, you're going pretty much. So head down, paddle hard, and then, yeah, just aim for the end of the tunnel. <laughs> I went and surfed it when I was about 18 years old, and I didn't really know what I was in for when I went over there on a trip with um, Steph and Sally, and we got pretty pumping waves that trip, and so I just wanted to go back, and it took me five years to get back there, but yeah, getting back there was so worth it, and uh, yeah, I want to get back there for sure again. Laura Shaw is one hard charging chick. Well, as we head to the break, let's see how the Wahoo Surfer Groms Comp tackled Ocean Grove in Victoria.
Welcome back to Surfing Australia TV. Well, the best under 18 surfers in the country converged on Phillip Island in Victoria for the Surf, Dive and Ski Australia Junior Titles. So let's see who reigned supreme and was crowned the national champ. <laughs> It's been an awesome week down here at Phillip Island for the 2016 Surf, Dive and Ski Australian Junior Surfing titles. First few days run at Woolamai, we saw really fun, clean, rip bowl conditions. We relocated to Flynn's for the finals. Kids have been on fire all week. Talent is through the roof and standards been incredible. Check out the weekly action. It was pretty hard, there wasn't many waves and then it was pretty slow, but at the end there was a couple good ones that came through and I was lucky enough to just be in the right spot and go at a good one that kind of secured my spot. You know, it was hard surf, small, uh, really difficult to pick the position, but um, you know, I ended up getting an average one at the end and uh, coming away with a win, so I'm uh, happy with that. That's just about all for the show, but before we go, here's a little taste of what's on offer from the team at MySurf TV.
check out more amazing footage just like that and plenty more at mysurf.tv. So that's all for this episode of Surfing Australia TV, presented by Woolworths, feeding fresh talent. And remember, if you need any more information on anything that you've seen today, you can find it on surfingaustralia.com or you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I'm Sam Squires. Thanks for your company. I look forward to seeing you next time.